a story. I just got this fixed and something that I've been noticing for the past few months is my fine tuners, these things. I've had to um, turn them more and more and more so they were actually all completely in. I couldn't turn them anymore and so I had to start turning the pegs up here. Um, and that should have been a sign to me that something was wrong. And what was happening was this was coming unglued and was moving and I didn't know because I'm an amateur. So I thought it would be helpful to kind of talk about just all that happened in the process and you probably can't see me I just realized because the lights behind me but uh, yeah I, I also realized it was probably quite damaging to my cello that it was already kind of warping and wrecking and I just continued to tune it and tighten it and kind of increase the tension but eventually this all came out and I had to get it fixed so stay tuned and I'll take you along on that journey. But first, practice. And so I'm wondering if maybe they also didn't use like a very strong glue or something because it's in the area that it was injured last time. And so what is happening is, um, well now it's even more intense, but what happened was I just had the cello kind of laying down and the strings are all, oh and I'm not supposed to hold it like that right now, the strings are all very loose right now so they don't even make a sound because I can't have any tension on the neck, but what was happening is it was laying down, is all the Halloween candy in shot? <laughs> No, no. If you want Tomato a chocolate sound. bar, come to my house. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I looked, well, first of all, I checked the tune and it was all out of tune, and that was the day that I was taking it to studio. Oh, oh. yeah. stressful so I tried to tune it not really thinking about what had maybe happened and what had happened was this had come up and so you can actually even see the wood and it has pulled away from the button this is the button but everyone I talked to said it's uh, really great that this isn't broken because that would be a huge deal all right boys Let's go. Super happy that I found someone that would help glue something on. This will be a two hour one way trip and I gotta get back to work tonight. I teach online lessons, but I'm taking you with me. Just so you know about your cello, uh -huh. we would need it for at least a week. Okay. So it's not something like you can drop off and pick up the same day. Yeah. And it's quite an expensive rep repair to do oh, okay. because the neck has to be reset, so yeah. it's, and then a new bridge has to be made. Oh. So it's over like that. It's over a thousand dollars. Okay. That was very informative. So I'm just gonna tell you a little bit. I don't know if you can see. I'm stopped at the kind of the most beautiful it's not that beautiful probably compared to where a lot of you live how do we focus yeah it's kind of beautiful to pick up my cello today. Yeah, I'll take you with me. There's a smudge on that lens. So this is the longest that I have gone without a working cello, and I miss it. My cello has been broken before and I have had to get it repaired. 
but um, that time was right at the beginning of the pandemic and I was still um, taking lessons in person and my instructor uh, let me borrow uh, an old French cello, which I did a review on, so this is the longest I've gone without having a working cello, and it might be three weeks now. But it took about a week to repair because I um, had to, I did have to get a new bridge, so. Hi puppy. Hi girl. I don't know if you can see how beautiful that is, and I don't know if it's focused ever. I stopped in the exact same spot as I did last time. I might eat my supper here. <sighs> I just picked up my cello. It's in the back. And I think it's fixed. I think it sounds better. Um, there's a few extra cracks and bumps on it, which the person that fixed it, um, the person that fixed it seemed to think that that had happened before I brought it there, which was not the case. So this whole story is about me finding someone to fix my cello who, you know, who I could afford, but also who would do a pretty good job. And I think that this person who I got to fix it definitely thinks um, that he did a very good job. And he is a violin maker, so he does have experience, but if I'm being honest, I'm quite sad. <laughs> um... I've been having a hard day though. I've been having a hard time lately. And I don't know if I'm going to share that on this video, but if I do, it might be all I'll say. But um yeah, I if if I could go back in time, I would spend a thousand dollars and take it 9 hours away to someone who only fixes cellos and builds cellos and is hired by a a credible company. This was kind of just um, a man working out of his house and again very sweet. Um, really undercharged me if anything but <sighs> yeah I, when I get home I'll take out the cello and I will um, play it and I'll see if it sounds any different and yeah we'll see how it is. I also just wanted to stop here, not to give you an update, but just because. Oh. Keep thinking I'm going to open it up and it might just be chaos. Yeah. These strings are way closer to the fingerboard. And. I think he told me they're about five and a half or six millimeters, like the A string, which is what it's supposed to be. I took a picture of my C string before I, I brought it in and it was like over an inch away, which is pretty impossible to play. It seemed that my all of my footage from when I opened up my cello this afternoon and played it is super blurry. So I'm just going to kind of open it again. I'm not going to play it because I have a lot of stuff that I'm doing tonight. I'm processing tomatoes on the stove. And also I'm recording some vocals for a friend and I'm trying to send them tonight. So, alright, one thing that I didn't mention in the other video though, was that the, the bridge was changed. So this piece right here is brand new, 
the strings are a lot lower. The sound is different. I will probably show you some of the blurry clips because I think I said I don't like it and then I said I kind of like it. I'm not really sure how I feel about it so I might have to spend a little bit of time with it. But one thing that I was very worried about was when I was playing it at the at the place where it was fixed, I noticed that there was like a scuff back here. Now this is the button and this is what I was told if I had broken that, that would be serious, a serious issue. And the person that fixed this, like said, it was so difficult to get this off. I was super worried. It felt to me like this had a crack in it, and I don't know if you can kind of see it, but it's not a crack, it's actually glue, um, from what I can tell. It just looks like they they glued it and they left it, you know, kind of on its back to dry, and that the glue just uh, dripped down. I sure hope that that's the case. Yeah, every time I look at it, that's what I see. Yeah, I think that's all I wanted to show you. Besides, I I know that you won't be able to see this mostly because it's dark, so there's no real light, but. There are cracks here that were not there before, and I am really worried that they'll spread. Yeah, there's definitely some scuffs, but he also fixed some of the scuffs I made, so... I don't know.